Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back with Crash Team Racing on the PS1. Now before we start, it sounds like my stupid neighbour might be drilling the wall at the moment. So if you guys can hear any drilling, I do apologise because my mic is literally aiming in the exact direction that the noise is coming from. So there's a good chance you guys are probably going to hear it. I'll try and edit it out, but well, there's only so much I can do. <laughs> okay, right. So we're still doing Crash Team Racing, and we are currently in the Blizzard area. Now I think the next race that we need to do was possibly the one at the gold mine, wasn't it? I can't remember, I haven't played this for about a week now. <laughs> so I've probably forgotten all the bloody buttons again. Right, I need to I need to find a new place for this video camera, because I can't see shit. It was down this way, wasn't it? Yeah, because we go past Komodo Joe, and I think it was down here. Yeah, so this is the next race we're going to do. As I mentioned in the last video... This race is filled with a load of like minecarts and they flatten you. And if you get flattened, obviously you drive really slow. <laughs> it's not the best. Dragon Mines. This is also the same track that you are going to race Komodo Joe on when you face him later on in the uh, in the uh, game. Oh dear, I can't remember what Komodo Joe does actually. I really don't remember him at all. I just know we have to race him on this track. Oh, there's the kitten. <laughs> Oh, I do love Pura. Is it Pura or Kuma? I keep forgetting the fucking name. I think it's Pura. Okay, what's the buttons? Okay, so it's uh, R1 to jump. Alright. You basically don't even really need to brake in this game. All you got to do is just drive, and then when you go around the corners, just keep on jumping, really. <laughs> there is, there's basically zero reason in this game to really brake, except in some of the later levels, like... Uh, I think there was... Oh, look! Dingo Dial got flattened! <laughs> I think there's a level later on, actually, called... Oh, no! Oh, shit! It's because I'm talking! <laughs> but I think there's a, uh, a level later on called Cortex's Castle. And uh, in that level, you have to break quite a lot, because uh, a lot of the turns are very, very tight. Come we're not doing very well, are we, Wolf and Wolfettes? We're in fucking... We're in seventh position. I keep saying we're not doing well, but technically it's me that's not doing well. <laughs> oh, dear. But uh, I'm thinking of uh, buying something, you know, for my channel. And uh, what I'm thinking of buying is, if any of you guys have seen, there's a, there's a store called the PlayStation Gear Store. Uh, at the moment, it's not available in Europe anymore. I'm not sure why. I think it's closed down or something. But you can still get it in America. But there are jackets on there. They're about £60 in England. But they're basically, they're like a jacket. And they're covered in PlayStation logos. And they're sort of, it's sort of like the, uh, the PlayStation 20th Anniversary Jacket. And, um... I'm thinking of getting one and replacing it with my dressing gown because I, I wore this dressing gown just because it's grey and it suits my mask but overall it doesn't really, I don't know, it just kind of seems weird that I'm wearing it. So I might be buying one of them soon but the problem is, when I think about it, I'll probably end up looking like Teen Wolf if any of you guys have seen that Basketball Wolf, you know the old fashioned film called Teen Wolf I think. <laughs> I think I'll look a little bit like him if I wear that with this wolf mask but never mind, hey, never mind Wolf Morvettes. But yeah, I figured of doing that. Well, that will make my video look very different because people are probably used to me wearing this bloody dressing gown. I've been wearing it for like two years. <laughs> this dressing gown has definitely had its worth. It's pretty lucky that I passed at the last minute because I was about to lose this race because I was talking way too much. Fucking hell, that was a lucky win. Oh, look, Polar Bear's improved. <laughs> he's, been, uh, he's been last in the last few races. But if any of you guys have got any suggestions about what you want me to play after this game, because this ga this playthrough won't last very long. But if any of you guys have got any suggestions, just let me know in the comments. Because my original plan was going to be, I was going to play Uncharted 4, and as soon as I would have finished the Uncharted 4 playthrough, No Man's Sky was supposed to have come out. But because No Man's Sky got delayed like two months, it basically completely fucked up my uploading schedule. That's why I'm doing this now instead. I mean, I might do Shadow of the Beast once I finish this, but I'm not sure yet. But if, if any of you guys have got any uh, suggestions for me, let me know in the comments. I know a few of you want me to play uh, The Evil Within, but... <laughs> the problem with that is I'm not a fan of horror games. Not, not so much because they scare me, but I'm not a fan of them because they bore the hell out of me normally. And also, I did kind of watch Tom Wolf play most of The Evil Within, so I feel like if I play it, it's not going to be as funny as usual because I do know where most of the jump scares are, so we'll have to see. I mean, I will be doing Outlast and a few other horror games. I might do Resident Evil 7 next year with VR, so we'll have to see. But if you've got any suggestions, just let me know in the comments. Polar Paths. I cannot remember this one at all. 
My commentary has been a bit fucked up now because that drill in the background is kind of irritating me. So I do apologise. Do apologise, Wolf Muppets. Oh, look at Polar Bear's smile. I've never noticed that, actually. Did you see his little face? He's, he's really happy. Oh, I do remember this one. Whoops. I forgot to press the throttle. <laughs> Shit. Oh, tiny! Arsehole! <laughs> Pushed me into a fucking seal. Oh, look! It's the bear from uh, Cr Crash 2 <laughs> that chases you. Oh, that bear. Every time it flattens you in Crash Bandicoot 2, it does that annoying, like, grin, doesn't it? It's fucking scary. you got to be careful when you do some of these jumps, because if you jump too far, you might actually jump into the water. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! Polar Bear's back with action. What a surprise, eh? This this level is called Polar Pass, and Polar Bear's in the top place. Oh, shit! Now, uh, if, you, if you have enough speed, you can actually jump over that ramp, and you can completely jump over that wall there, so you don't have to actually go round. That's what Polar did, but I kind of fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit. This ain't going well today. It's not bloody going well. Oh, I remember this jump. <laughs> oh, Crash Bandicoot, you got the best voice. Cortex, you are an absolute snob. Oh, I don't think we've used that. If you use the clock, it sort of like just fucking messes with everybody and they start driving really slow. It's also good if you uh, wait for everybody to uh, jump over a hole and then you use that clock, then uh, yeah, you can get a couple of people stuck in the hole. So uh, that's pretty handy. I really do wish this had online. I really do wish it did. I've actually, I think I've still got the multi-tap from PlayStation 1, which is like an extension. Because as you know, PlayStation... Uh, one only had uh, two ports for controls. With a multi-tap, you could have up to... Uh... Oh, yes, you did it! You could have up to eight players playing at once. The problem is, though, with a uh, split screen and having that many players on the screen, it is basically impossible to keep... Uh... It's... <laughs> oh, Cortex. It's basically impossible to keep uh, concentration on your character. I always end up looking at the other screens. I remember one time I was doing Mario Kart 4 player and I thought I was doing absolutely brilliantly until I realised I was looking at the wrong screen. And then I looked at my own screen and noticed that I was driving into a wall. <laughs> you guys have probably done that before if you've, ever, if you've ever played split screen. Okay. This is the bit I'm talking about. If you jump too far on those bits, if you've got loads of speed, then you might completely jump over one of the ramps and just land in the pond. So it's good to slow down sometimes in this bloody game, because you do get quite a bit of speed. I fucking just noticed I'm actually miles ahead. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I fucking knew it was going to happen eventually. Let's pull it right there on the, uh, on the speed pad. Get a lot of these bloody potions. I'd actually prefer Nitro. Did we do it? Yes, we did it! I'm oh, surprised I'm doing well at all with all this talking. But yeah, though, like I'm saying, if you guys have got anything you want me to play, let me know. Because I think No Man's Sky comes out on the uh, 10th of August now in uh, England. It might be the 10th of August also, also in Europe. And I think it might be coming out on the 9th in uh, America, North America. So, um... I've got about a month of spare time, so uh, if you've got any long playthroughs or anything that will go on for about 30 episodes, just let me know. And I will probably do them, if I like the game. I was tempted to do Spyro after this, but I've not played that. I've literally, I don't think I've ever completed Spyro 1 or Spyro 2. So I reckon that could be a bit of a dangerous playthrough. I might get stuck. <laughs> How are we doing? Have we got a race? We got to no, we don't have to race you yet. Where we got to go? Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. So we'll probably do this race and uh, might have to end it for today. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm blasting through the races today. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> Going to run out of things to do. 
Oh, tiny arena. Uh, this is the one I'm thinking of. This one might be absolutely covered in mud. And if you don't do jumps correctly and you land in the mud, you will drive very slow. So uh, watch your butt in this one. I, think, I reckon Tiny is going to try and come first in this one, as it's named after Tiny. <laughs> oh, Tiny Arena. You'd think because it's called Tiny Arena, it's actually tiny, but no, I think this track is actually quite big. Oh, yeah, it is the one covered in mud. Oh, this is the worst. This is one of the worst. There's Tiny up in first place already. How the hell did that not give me a boost? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, there's the mud. Oh! See, because they landed in the mud, I was able to get ahead of it. And also, I did do a few boosts. Oh, there's Tiny. He doesn't want to lose on his own track, does he? No, he don't. I need to stop trying to do these slides. That was a terrible shot, Tiny. I've got to be honest. <laughs> oh, I love watching them crash into shit. Oh, so much bloody turning. This is the kind of track where I reckon you should have somebody like uh, Pulper Pulper. Because he, he, he's quite slow, but he's got very good handling. So you can just get around, around these turns with no problem. That's Whack Dingo. You just called me... I swear he just went, oh, you bastard. What's that all about? Oh, no! No, please! Oh, that was close. Engine tried to assassinate me. Engine is the worst, innit? The whole of this playthrough has just been giving me shit. Oh, yes! Is that like the first lap? Do you see what I mean now? How long this track is? And it's called Tiny Arena. Oh! Don't do that, kitten! Uh, one thing I've never actually uh, checked with this game. I don't know if you guys know. If any of you guys have played this. But, um... I think... I'm not sure if when you complete adventure mode and you unlike, unlock other characters and that, I don't know if you can actually replay adventure mode with the characters. So like, if I unlock Pinstripe, I'm not sure if I could like replay adventure mode and use Pinstripe. I'm not sure if you're able to because obviously they're like boss characters. I could be wrong, but if, if, um, if you can do that, I should have probably just unlocked Pinstripe first and replayed. I should have probably just played on my uh, other save file. I might have actually unlocked hard mode on that. Didn't actually think of that. Oh, well, too late for that now. <laughs> I can hear a lot of bombs near me, and it's making me a little bit edgy. Oh, longest lap in the world. <laughs> oh, sorry, Coco. Did that hurt, did it, you bitch? Oh, what are you doing, cat? What's that all about? I thought we were friends. Oh, engine. Oh, cut. Oh. oh, it was going so well. Fucking engine. He is the absolute worst. I might go and play Crash 3 again and just blow him up. <laughs> I want to know who the voice actor was for engine. I'm going to have to Google it. Because whoever done his voice is bloody creepy, isn't it? need to get more Wampa Fruit. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but if you get hit, you lose Wampa Fruit. <laughs> Fucking hell, did the cat and Tiny just go into my Nitro? What an arsehole. Oh. Oh! And then he took a ball to the face. At least it won an arrow to the knee, eh, Wolf and Wolfettes? <laughs> i got to be honest with you, Wolf and Um, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I don't think I should start talking about this now, because uh, once I start talking about it, I'm not going to shut up. But Elder Scrolls Oblivion was my absolute favourite Elder Scrolls ever. I preferred it to Morrowind, and I still prefer it to Skyrim. In fact, Skyrim is my least favourite. But I still do like Skyrim quite a bit. But my main problem with it was, obviously, if you played on PS3... Skyrim had a lot of problems, and Bethesda just refused to fix them. So uh, it's really coming out now on PS4, and I'm not sure whether I'll buy it again, just out of principle, but because I love it so much, I might do it for this channel. 
but I don't think I will do it this year. I think I might do it like early next year because uh, at the end of the year, I've got so many playthroughs planned for this channel. We've got Watch Dogs 2, we got Mafia 3, we got Rise of the Tomb Raider comes out for PS4 in December. We've also got South Park in December, you know. God, there's a lot of games actually, isn't there? Oh, you've got The Last Guardian in October. There's a lot of games. But I think during a quiet period next year, I might do some Elder Scrolls. Because that seems to be a game that people do enjoy watching. So it might be good to boost this channel. Because I'm getting quite sick and tired of the low amounts of subs I'm gaining lately. So yeah, well, if you'd like that, let me know. I think it might be Komodo. Show. Sure. You've beaten all the other racers on these tracks. Well, now you see why I'm the most feared driver on the circuit. I'll earn the right to face Oxide by crushing you into break dust. Let's race. I get the feeling Komodo Joe might want to race me. <laughs> Fuck it, I, I, I don't even know what he is. He's like some kind of snake human or something. All right. Uh, I actually have got no idea what Komodo Joe does. I don't know what his like, special move is, so we're just going to have to go in blind. If I lose this race, then um, I'm going to have to do it next episode. So hopefully we do it in one. God, we are blasting through this game. I'll tell you, we are absolutely blasting through it. I don't think I'll even make it to ten episodes at this rate. <laughs> Dragon Mines, Komodo Joe's Challenge. Oh, fucking hell. Look at his little hat. Oh, that was terrible. I thought Komodo... What's that? What's that all about? What's the random little burst of light speed he just got? Why are you... Oh, TNT. Oh. Oh, he's different to Ripperoo. When Ripperoo used to put the TNT behind him, he just like... He just literally just dropped him on the floor and we just had to dodge him. It looks like uh, Komodo Joe just keeps throwing him like a git. Oh, I guess that one didn't lock on. Right, come on, Beowulf. No time to lose. Oh, shit. Oh, don't squish me. Oh, that was close. Now he got squished. It's so hard to get close to him because he just ends up blowing you up. Oh! Oh! Fucking Komodo Joe, the worst! There's actually a shortcut in this one, and it's along one of the uh, one of the railroad tracks. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, though, so it's best that we don't bother looking for it. What a throw! I think I hit him again. Okay, we hit him twice at least. That should knock him back a little bit. Let's give him a TNT. Yep. <laughs> There's no way he could have dodged that. Oh, and he blew up as well. What a moron. I thought, you, I thought a boss would have at least knew how to throw off the bombs. That's the difference though. You play this on hard wolf more, but you see the difference. They'll never ever hit any of your... Uh, any of your weapons that you leave on the floor. They'll never hit any of them. They'll dodge every single one of them. If you put TNT down, they're guaranteed to throw it off. If you try and hit them with a missile, they'll probably magically dodge it with some magical Neo powers. Can't tell you. Komodo Joe is not very good at dodging TNTs, is he? Let's put one here. It's, it's nearly impossible to dodge stuff here. Quick, quick, quick. Oh! And he got hit with it again. He, uh, literally, four TNTs in a row. We just destroyed him. We just fucking destroyed him. Komodo Joe, you're terrible. You are absolutely... You've been the easiest one so far. Even Ripperoo was better than you, and he weren't even throwing TNT at me. Crash Bandicoot with his maniac smile as always. I've got no idea what he's going to say. I can't even understand him. And there don't seem to be any subtitles. I should have probably checked if there's subtitles. What the? What the? What noise is that? What kind of noise is that, Komodo Joe, you freak? What's he doing? Has he got bird feet? What is he, a raptor or some shit? He's like a dinosaur snake. Or a Komodo dragon. I mean, he is called Komodo Joe, but he doesn't look too much like a Komodo dragon. I suppose he does, don't I? Yeah, I guess he's a Komodo dragon then. But he does talk like a snake. 
You're not so slow after all. Nope. Surprise to me you did. Here's a key for the win. Still, I think you're not fast enough to outrace Oxide. We're going to lose our planet. And it will all be your fault. Well, fucking hell, thanks for the inspiration, you son of a bitch. I mean, I'm trying to save this planet and everything for everybody, and you're there giving me shit. I mean, if you don't trust me so much, why don't you go and race uh, nitrous oxide, you uh, you cocky bastard. Right, well, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Morphet. So, uh, thanks for watching, Wolf Morphet. Sorry my commentary's been a bit shit in this one. Like, like I said, there was so much background noise, it's, it's starting to irritate me. So, uh, when I get angry, I commentate really badly. I need to stay calm. <laughs> so, apologies. Thanks for watching, Wolf Morphet. Hopefully you enjoyed like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!